Hi everyone, Snowby here with a great performance tip to save RAM and increase your 7 days to die startup speed. 7 days to die can take a while to load into your save game, especially if you are playing with overhaul mods like Darkness Falls, Undead Legacy or Age of Oblivion. OCB Maurice is a modder for 7 Days to Die and has been making some great mods. However, when it comes to performance, he has been doing the work of the gods. Even if you want this performance boost for your vanilla 7 Days to Die game, then you've come to the right place. Of course, vanilla already is pretty quick. It is really the mods that start making your game very slow to load. Now, take a look at these amazing changes. Age of Oblivion is a huge mod and is well known to demand more than 16 gigabytes of memory and can take very long to load, even with a very fast PC. Now, when I ran Age of Oblivion without Maurice's startup optimizer, my PC initially allowed the mod to eat up 21 gigabytes of RAM. Also, it took nearly four minutes for the mod to start from a non-reload. After adding the modlet to my game, my memory at the start dropped from 21 gigabytes to 14 gigabytes. That is huge. My startup speed went from at least three and a half minutes down to one minute. And I'm really amazed at how much this has made to my startup process. No more getting up and going to make myself a cup of coffee. Just start, wait a bit and play the game. If you want to get your grubby paws on this yourself, just head over to Nexus and download the modlet from OCB Maurice's optimizer page. The link is in my description. Just check with your relevant overall mod developer if it'll work for you, but I know it functions with Age of Oblivion and Undead Legacy. Apocalypse Now and Darkness Falls already have it installed, so you don't need to add it. Installation is simple and I'm just going to show you the quick manual install method. Once you have downloaded the mod and if you're already running any mods, just add the mod to the mods folder that should already be there. If it is not, then create a mods folder in your 7 days to die root game folder. Then add the OCB startup optimizer folder into that. Once it is there, make sure the folder has the file contents directly under it. Currently you will see 4 files and that is all it takes. Those 4 files do this amazing job. Actually it is 3 files as one of them is just some text patch notes and information. Now run the game. The mod takes any Unity 3D resources and recompresses them to use the faster LZ4 compression method instead. The first time that you run your game, it can take a little while to load your game and it could become unresponsive, in other words it could freeze up. This is temporary and just part of the optimization process which will lead to the game increasing how much disk space it uses. Still, that little bit of disk space is a small price to pay for the great job that it will end up doing. Also make sure you run your game with EAC disabled. So running the 7 days to die.exe file is the one that you want. If you are playing an overall mod then just continue as you normally did. A big thanks to OCB Maurice for yet another great mod. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next one.